a Schindler Fatalis trap. I'm going to choose the sample zooplankton in legs. <laughs> um, so it's a clear box and it's clear because the zooplankton will actually avoid any colored objects and this is an attempt to avoid predators. Um, and so it's clear to make sure we don't scare the zooplankton out of the way. We'll lift these two metal arms above it and attach the carabiner on top. got another net on here um, and so eventually all the sample is going to be filtered down through this net into the cup. <clears throat> so when we lower it into the lake, these, these doors will open up here. There's another one on top. The one on top has a small vent that hopefully you'll be able to see. Um, and that way, so when we start to pull it out of the water, the water um, and the tank is going to get displaced with the air. So that allows it to drain through that bottom net a little bit easier. So we're going to go ahead and lower it in. Hopefully you can see that door opening up. And that second one a little bit. And we're going to lower it down to five meters. Stop. And now once I start to pull up, those doors are going to close and it traps the water and all the plankton that were in that spot in the, the container. Now at the top, I'll pull it slowly up. We have time for the water to drain through. You can actually hear the air hissing in there from where I'm at. I'll put it up on the edge of the boat. Drain all that water in there. And by draining all the water, that would allow us to take a quantitative sample. Is that plugged in? Pull that up, and I've got another peacock ready here. I'm going to undo, undo this black portion at the bottom of the net. Pour it into our peacock. Good to go after I had a little bit more one.